Welcome to We're Back Visor TV. I'm Visor. And I'm Alistair. And we're here for Avatar. The Last Airbender. <laughs> Avatar. Book 2, Episode 10. This is officially halfway through the series. Woo! What an amazing ride. As always, guys, you can catch the next next few episodes on Patreon over there. Um, yo, this is like the halfway through, not, oh, not, not just a season, the series. series. And yeah. man, I just feel like it was yesterday when we started this shit. Mm -hmm. and we're already here, you know, which is fucking incredible. Season 2, book 2 has not let, let us down so far. It's been no, amazing. Not at all. Last episode, philosophical. Um, I loved Iroh's teaching. I loved, uh, I loved Aang struggling to find his shit. You know, you know, find himself to learn earthbending. You know, you gotta focus on the stands. You gotta, you gotta hard. You gotta be rigid, man. You gotta be tough. You gotta be tough. And but pure humility is the antidote to shit. Man, love the, you. Got, you gotta love those Iro quotes. You know, these philosophical quotes from uh, the Avatar just put in my life. Man. Yeah. Like, Apply that shit to your life, man. Woo! Like you'll get, you'll get far. Especially on Galarius quotes. Anyways, what happened last episode? And that's pretty uh, much it. That's pretty much it. Like, and, and and he, learned like he learned that Earth. Zuko had a had a sad. Uh, he had an episode. Yeah, oh, he, sure. he had a bitter kind of ending where he just like the, the oh, lightning, the lightning, the, the lightning didn't come to him. Mm -hmm. He had those tears, and uh, you know, I hope Zuko finds himself. You know. He, Again, he, he takes Iroh's uh, teachings and applies them to his life and somehow yeah. become the person he's meant to be. And on that note, we shall open the box. I don't, know, I don't blame her. She's got to make, make a decision. Oh, he's crying? Oh, that's one way to end the episode. Sure. But what? What an annoying ending. Like, it was... It's not even that, it's just like... It's like, damn, man, I, I thought Appa was gonna mop the floor with those guys. Like, fuck you, kids, like, get out of here. Yeah. yeah. They actually, like, who are those people? Like, damn it, man. Like mummy, man, I don't know. Shit. Okay. <laughs> This was an interesting episode. Appa, Appa, Appa needs to come back. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bummed out because okay. Appa's like OG. Because yeah. man, I, I thought I thought we were gonna see Gangster Appa make an appearance, fuck those fillers, save the day. But man, Appa got lost, man. It took how many of them? It took like three of them. It took like it was one. You know, it was one of those rough rider fucks. Just came on. Um, like I, I think we saw them in that village first. Who, who yeah, yeah, those guys were on tavern. Yeah, yeah, the, the cloth on their face and shit. But fuck that shit. But man, yeah, he's a, even the guy spat on the floor. Like, okay, the vibe from the very beginning. Yeah, you, you like, see the douchebags. I don't like them. You know, from, from the very start, you can see they're douchebags. Uh. But man, so we had um, this episode. Uh, it was hinting towards uh, so Sozin. This was more of a build-up episode where like Sozin's comet um, was being referenced. When mm -hmm. Ozai wants to use that comet to end the war once and for all, yeah. destroy literally everybody. But that's a dimension Jao again, right? Oh, it's so random. J but oh. but I liked it though because like like J because Jao mentioned before that. Um, wait, can I put my freaking pen? Sorry, we'll back into these messages. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but like yeah, we we we, we saw that Jao. Uh, he went to the library, he, like, he was the stupid fuck- Again, man, Zhao, it's so ironic, like, all the spirit, uh, spirit animals and stuff, like, the things they despise is what Zhao does, you know? Like, like, he mm. killed a spirit close to, you know, in the, in the water nation, like, Yue and stuff, and then this guy pissed this dude off because he was using knowledge to, like, for his own selfish gains. Yeah. Which the guy despises again. But, man, god damn, man, this is actually, like... You know what that library reminded me of, though? Yeah, uh, like, you know how the Fire Nation burned their books? Oh, yeah, information yeah. about the book, you know what it reminded me of? Oh. Um, the Alexander Library. Well, what, like, they did the same thing over there? Yeah, they burned down the, the, their books and like burned history. down the whole place. And, like, just to hide conceal their shit? Conceal their shit, and, the, like, a bunch of knowledge was just, like, well, you, destroyed. Well you, well, you could tell, like, Avatar is, like, is based off of, like, real life shit. Like, like, like that library legit was the like, design of Taj Mahal, you know? Yeah. Like, the Taj Mahal, like, that's exactly what it looked like, you know? And then, it's, it's, it's kind of cool because, um, like, uh... Like, uh, I'm talking about Jao, like, 
how we, we, we saw he went to this library. Now we saw the library he was in where he's getting this information from. So it's, because this, this library of uh, Washington? Washington. Oh. <laughs> uh, Washington. 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 <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Say Washington, okay? Um, uh, Washington. 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 Edit the last few Washington. <laughs> so um, the, the, the Washington Library um, apparently has a shit ton of knowledge mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, we we had this uh, the spirit of Washington was there. This owl looking dude. Yeah, yeah uh, he's he's not the biggest fan of humans as we saw. Because uh, <laughs> of Joe. <laughs> yeah, not even because of Joe. God damn it, Joe. I think it's because of history. Yeah. But um, but it's, the reason was so true. Humans use knowledge for like their like just a personal uh, game. Exactly. Personal you game, know? get that advantage humans, over, over other humans and stuff. So that, uh, like, it's so true. You know, but like, but and that's exactly what uh, Sokka and the crew were doing. You know, like we, we they, they went to the room where the, where the yeah the fox was legit. He showed the room to them. Mm. They, they saw the, they saw the whole um, like the the solar eclipse, and uh, they saw this, and then and, and then Sokka took a risk and like went on and like. Got the date of when this shit's gonna happen. You know, no, but even better than that, he he fixed Sokka figured out. Yo, yeah, so I know. Eclipse makes the fire bending go away. What? Because the lunar fuck? lunar eclipse takes away water bending. Holy so shit! It, it's, so it's obvious when the when the sun is not there, like the solar eclipse. Yo, out. that's that's big. Like, like that's huge. That's huge. Like the fucking information, like over there. You know, like like th- this is their chance of taking like this information. They tell it to the people of Bussing Say, they can use that and take down the Fire Nation, right? But it's not gonna be that easy. <laughs> nah, so, yeah. yeah. You, you know, get the Bussing Say first. Yeah, exactly. It's because. Uh, it, not, not even that. They're in the middle of the war, They man. gotta find Appa, man. Because. Oh, um, Mother, remind me, man. Appa's gone, and yeah, they gotta find. Aang was crying at them, because, like, Appa's been with him, like, since day one. Yeah. Right? So it's like, you know, it's like family, right? So, oh, man. I'm just like. I'm a little bummed out about that, man. Yeah, I'm so I'm kind of bummed out too because uh, shit, man. It's like, <sighs> and you know, poor Toph, she she had to make a decision. It's uh-huh. like you either save those guys or like Appa. I I, I think she made the right decision. She made the right decision, but Appa's she... getting kidnapped, but those guys would have died. You know, like you could always find Appa, but mm-hmm. like you, you know. and you're underground, like I mean, if you don't have a good vent. Vendor- no, they, they would die. They would die. Exactly. They would die. So like, so like, she had, she, had she to made the right choice, but she, it's still yeah. a bitch. Yeah, it's just it's, mm. like it's, it's, it sucks. The situation sucks. Like those fuckers came and just ruined it, right? But man, um, and then and then, and then uh, we saw Sokka is very interested in the darkest day of Fire Nation. Uh huh. And I think the darkest day was the solar eclipse. It, it, it literally, it literally is the darkest day. Yeah. So um, it's it's it's, it's you know, that, I, I I like that. We 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 got this new professor, you know, the University of Boston say. Yeah, Professor Zhang, University. Yeah, of Boston. Uh, he's a he's a he's a he's a guy. He's a professor of anthropology. <laughs> anthropology. But uh, that dude was a weirdo. This is no, I don't think he's you know a weirdo. what? He's, I don't say he's a weirdo. He's just really passionate. Into his, exactly, he's really passionate about his shit. He's like, you know what? I spend yeah. my life here to gain knowledge and. I don't know those guys, man. It's just... I, I don't think he's even spending no life. I think he's dead. Uh, there's no food in there. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty much dead. Well, man. He's but... sunken in there, so... But, but he made that choice. You know, he, his his life mission was to find this. And he and found he it. it and know? he wants to die with his own. Uh, to each his own, you know? But man, um, it was it was like... Like I, again, this episode was like like we started off. We wanted to get the map of the Fire Nation. That's mm-hmm. what Sokka was going for. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants to go on a mini vacation. You know, we're stressed out. Let's chill out a bit. Find this library. We get we get some information. Solar eclipse, huge huge drop over here. Solar eclipse, solar eclipse, man. This is gonna come into play, oh, and this yeah. is gonna be crucial. Um, it can literally cripple the Fire Nation if if they play the cards right. If they play the cards right, but first things first, man. Fuck everything. Gotta find Appa, you know. Uh, gotta find Appa, and and and, and, that's, and and then we had this weird uh, the, what the spirit of Washington, like Washington. I, I, I'm butchering his name. I know. I'm sorry, but um, that's um, not me. I'm disappointing his name. I don't want shit on. At least I'm brave enough to say, you know, I'm, I'm gonna get shit on. Fuck it. I, I'm gonna try. But man, um, he, he he was a bitter old owl. I like how he's an owl because an owl is typically like used as a bird, you know, in, in the libraries and shit. That's a thing, right? I don't know. 
Oh yeah. Shit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm so useless. No, okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck? Anyways, um, uh, uh, that that dude had no chill, by the way. It's oh, like, the album guy. He just he just he's like, yo, fuck it, I'm gonna kill you guys. <laughs> he's like, woo. <laughs> but yeah, was soccer knocked him out. It, it, Ang Airbend. I, I felt like they should have just like went on ahead and started running, just like fucked them up. You know. <laughs> I, I, instead of like r- letting him chase you, I felt like you should have just like fucked him up. Like, like yeah, you know, I know. Like, I mean, like, you're gonna get like, like Ang should have chased to death. You know, like Ang exactly. should, yeah, okay. Ang and Katara should have just fucked him up and like and like tie him up and like have a sweet time and like you know take take their knowledge and everything. <laughs> but uh, yeah, again, you know, the fucking spirit guys, aggressive as shit. Spirit um, owl. Yeah. Spirit owl. I'm pretty sure he went down too. But, and then you know, I wonder if we're ever gonna see him again. But like. I don't want to see him again. The guy's like, he turns from, when he flies, he looks weird. <laughs> He's not like this with his wings. He goes like to a snake. He gets thinner. He's a snake. <laughs> He's like an owl. Because, because, the sh- because the animals in this show are like mixed. Yeah, yeah like mixed, right. right. So he's like an owl snake. This is a really weird combination, but. I'm like, how's he gonna fit through that little thing? <laughs> he goes like this. this. I was like, oh shit. Slithers away. <laughs> But man, um, yeah, Appa's gone. Appa's gone, man. They, like like uh, Sokka went on and found the data. Uh, they, props uh, huge, him, huge, huge uh, r- reveal on the solar eclipse. This is gonna go into play again for Ozai because this, this dude wants to use uh, Sozin's comments. So comments, and and that's pretty much it. Like for this episode, um, no, besides, uh, like, I, I feel like it, it was a build up episode. Mm. Like we need this information drop. Yeah. For things to come. Exactly. So um. Stay tuned for the next segment. Yeah. Alright, everybody. Who's going to be your MVP of this episode? And who's going to be the flop of the episode? MVP? You, you, you know what? I, I have it broken down to two people. I have it broken down to one person. Okay, right, right, right. Saka? Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you, Who's you're, the, second, the second person? Yeah, thank you. Tough. Mm-hmm. They all would have been dead without her. Yeah, but Sokka. I, I, I'm leaning towards Toph. Really? I'm leaning towards Toph. Because Sokka got that information, but like, what use would information be to a dead man? True. That's my argument. What's yours? Well, if she was badass, she could have saved up a two. <laughs> whoa, 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 you're an ungrateful little shit. Fuck you! Like she, she did. She, well, she had to. She was like, she, literally, like she. Mm. No, like for me, it's tough, man. Like tough. Like, like I understand her situation. Without her, everybody would have been on the in the ground and dead. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I'm such a mighty. Yeah, so- Sokka as well, because Sokka, like you know. Oh, the revelation, man! That was good I, news. I, because I, I like how the owl was like, "Oh, you're not the most smartest one." And then I felt, I felt bad because like I've been kind of like going on about like Sokka being the most intellect one. Mm. And then I'm like, fuck you, Owl, you know? But, <laughs> but, but like, he proved his point. But he proved his fucking point. He's smart. He, he, he's like, you know what? Fuck you. I am smart. And like, he went on. He figured this whole case out. He got a major, major clue of how to defeat these Fire Nation fucks. And like, you know, he did it up. So like, but, but again, you know, like, uh, like Sokka, you did it up. But at the same time, it was because of him at the same time, the Owl kind of got pissed because you were kind of going on about like, oh, we could do this, we could do that. And they, they got kind of fault, I guess. You know, yeah, like, I'm not blaming no fault on Toph, though. Like, for me, like, mm. Toph, like, she, she, she saved them, man. She saved them. She did yeah, it. Yeah, you know, let's go with Toph. I'm going with Toph, you know. She, she did it up. Um, you know, she, she was having awkward, awkward conversations with Appa. But when, 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 when the crew needed her the most, she was there and she saved the day. And she will be the MVP of today. You made us believe, put clothes on our backs, you sacrificed for us, <laughs> you the real MVP. Alright guys, this is going to be the flop. Flop, flop, flop. Everybody do the flop! Can I want to go to that spirit owl? Yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards the owl too. So it's like, it's like he came out straight, but then we found he was nice and shit, you know. <laughs> but then like, today he's a snake. <laughs> literally, literally, literally a snake. You know what? I'm, I, like, I don't blame him. Like, was, I, he broke, they broke the rules. But you know, he kind of was professor of the University of Boston City. No, he, he no. found his dream. No, no, he should be MVP actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna give the spirit owl. Sorry. Yeah. Um, like, yeah, yeah. you just went overboard. Man. You went know, overboard yeah. way too fast. You gotta chill the fuck out, right? Yeah. It's like he's the avatar you're talking to. You know, it's like you know, sometimes like 
not every case is the same. We're like, oh, oh Zhao is this fuck boy, uh, <laughs> uses information to fuck people up. It's not like everybody's gonna do it. And he, oh, I, I feel like he was just fed up with it, so he just assumed everybody's using their information for their own gain, mm-hmm. which they technically are. But like, like they're doing the same. The world, the avatar, you know, some spirit shit going on, you know, and Aang, like, like, like Aang's been to your world, bro, you know, like, like. Like, you should have understood. Like you, yeah. you talk about knowledge, and like the the first point where you're supposed to display that knowledge, you start like poking your fucking uh, your beak at people and start chasing them, becoming a snake. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, Spirit Owl. I'm I'm I'm, I'm glad Sokka knocked you out. I'm glad Aang knocked you out, and then, and yeah. and um, I'm sure you're enjoying uh, Professor of Bossing Say's uh, company. So <laughs> you know, um, sorry, but Spirit Owl will be the flop of today's episode. Alright guys, that's another episode for today. Uh, this was more of the uh, build-up episode, so you, know, you can check the next few uh, episodes on. I don't speak English. Patreon.com and you know, as always guys, uh, stay tuned for that. And, like always, don't forget like to like, comment, and subscribe. You know who we are, Visor and Alistair. Peace out. Don't say my name! <laughs>